how would you uh, communicate that risk to the management or board members? Right. So the traditional model of the five by five matrix, likelihood and impact, and you know, high, medium, low, et cetera, um, it's the most popular model. It's a model that many boards um, respond to well, and, and it's a model that will resonate with those boards. There are plenty of detractors in our industry who will point out that that likelihood impact is, is a messed up mess. Um, some people will talk about how the scales are ordinal, and yet some people use it as a multiplicative. In other words, five, five and five is 25, not 10. Uh, you multiply the numbers instead of adding them, which with an ordinal scale makes no sense, but helps to demonstrate the drama of this is really bad, this is really good. You know, one to 25 is a much more pronounced scale. Some people do that and the boards respond to it quite well. Some stick with the standard ordinal and, and, and math and, and that seems to work well. Some people don't even put the numbers and simply do a heat map. I had one company I worked for where reporting upstairs um, was literally just the red, yellow, green heat map, but in a very nice gradient manner uh, without the numbers, words there, but not numbers there of likelihood and impact and um, arrows with the dot and the line and the triangle at the end to show we started here and we got to there. And you can show where we reduced likelihood um, dramatically, but impact stayed the same, or we managed to partially reduce likelihood